<laughs> but this- this tortoise, so if that's- And also its flashbacks would just be, uh, you know, the same wall. I mean, it basically spent, <laughs> I don't know how many years, in a cage. It was in the zoo, so, uh, it died of liver failure. Which is a problem if you're a tortoise, because with us they can cut you open and have a look at the liver. With that, it's going, forget it, we're not getting in there. It's like you when you didn't want the plumbers to knock through the tiles to check out the piping. It's around with the tortoise. If it's a liver, we're not going through that. It's not worth it. If it's your head or your feet, we'll have a look, mate. But we're not looking at internal organs with a giant tortoise. Why not? Because, what do you mean? Well, can't, can't you drill into those things? It's only, it is only a shell. That is easier to replace than, than skin. Carl, I was joking. You can't do a liver operation on a tortoise. Why not? It's got all the same parts, hasn't it? All the same body parts and that. Well, I don't think that's the point. Well, not really, but, um, yeah, it's just But, but better speaking. ones, in a way, because they live longer. So they're doing something right, aren't mm -hmm. they? If they can live 250-odd years, our, our art can't do that. Mm. Which is what I say about our tortoise has got it right, in a way, that it's, it's taking its time on everything. We're rushing about, getting stressed out. That's just, you know, getting on with it. It's not rushing. <laughs> uh it eats healthy, doesn't it? It eats lettuce and stuff. Yeah. So that's- that's probably doing it right, but to be honest, it's too much. I wouldn't <laughs> want to live 250 years. Just eating lettuce. Let's not forget that all a tortoise does is eat lettuce. <laughs> it's not like it's jet skiing weekends and then getting its lettuce on a Monday. That's all it does, is eat lettuce. Yeah. And that appeals to you, does it? Uh, no, I'm just saying that it must be doing something right, though. Of course it's doing something right. Because it's living 250 years. But all animals do something right, however long they live. Mayflies live a day, but they're doing something right. Well, they're not, are they? They haven't got a chance to learn how to do it right. And then, and then they're dead. It's, you know, that's from one extreme to another, isn't it? That just mm. seems a bit mental to me, that living a day. I wouldn't bother, so forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Could you be bothered? You know, just as you get to know someone. <laughs> yeah, another mayfly. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying if we had that, if that's how we lived our lives, you wouldn't have a chance to make a mark or anything, would you? It's just... It's would just... you try and pack a lot in that day? Uh, Disneyland, whatever. No, I'd prefer to make it miserable so I don't miss it, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But I was thinking the other day about, um, you know, your body and everything, because it is amazing, isn't it? How it works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does the brain control you or are you controlling the brain? I don't know if I'm in charge of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I, There's Carl. a surprise. Nor do I, Carl. No, do, do you know what I mean, though, by that? Does well, the brain control you, or do well, you control you, the when, brain? Well, when you, like, don't you ever sort of think sometimes? Say if you're making... But you I, are I was the making, brain. No, no, but I was making a shopping list, right? Going, right, I need some, uh, rice, uh, kidney beans, uh, and I thought I had everything, and I sort of was rolling up the paper, and then, then something went, oh, an onion. Your so brain did Something that. went an onion, was it yeah. Suzanne? No, well, my brain, my brain <laughs> sort of went, you forgot something. Yeah. I, I didn't think I'd forgot. I no, no, you that. are your brain. No, no, but don't you understand, the brain, my brain was in, I was in control of my brain <laughs> when I was writing down rice and kidney beans. But you're not in charge of the onion, that's another part of the brain that's in charge of the onion. <laughs> the onion, the onion sector. Yeah. No, but I put the paper away. Putting my coat on, ready to go, ready then, to go and get well, the rice. Yes, but, yes, but your onion lobe kicked in. <laughs> what, so you, you put the paper in your pocket, you got the coat on, then you just suddenly hear then from it nowhere, was just like, it was onion. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even thinking about that shopping list, it's in my pocket, I'm thinking, do I need my gloves, it's cold out. Yeah. Suddenly, onion. And it was like, oh yeah, onion, yeah, I had to get the paper out. So yeah, what I'm saying thing. is, it was, in, the, it was in charge. The brain, the brain, the mind, the brain is the- what are you doing but who's in that's charge? that's just, you forgot, you forgot the onion and then you remember the onion. You must have forgotten things in the past. No, but not, not like that, not where, like, it just made me think, that was weird, who, who reminded me of that? You did! <laughs> yeah, but I'm not- <laughs> No, you are your brain. It's not like there's you, then there's a brain, then there's an extra one looking down at it, oh, the, the, you know, the, the, the meta brain, the thing above it. No, but your brain, you how does your brain work? <laughs> you give it information, don't you? Well, it takes- Do you mean you give it information? 
Well, if, if, I, if I sat in a room with nothing, not feeding it anything, it wouldn't know anything. No, but it, it, there's this thing well, that then, there's two U's. It's this thing that there's- There's, there's Carl this, and Carl's brain. Yeah, there's, there's not- there's not a duality in this. If you- if, if you go- if you go, come on, come on, now think. That's the brain saying that to itself. It's- it, it's not- there's not two people in there having an argument coming, come on, brain. And the brain's going, oh, don't you start, I was thinking then. And the other thing's going, brain, onion. And the brain goes, Carl, onion. You are your brain. If you are anything, you are- you are your mind, your brain, your collection of memories, your personality. You're not what you look like. Does that answer your question, Carl? Uh, what do you think, oh, then? You were thinking of a tortoise on a the skateboard then when I said that last <laughs> sentence, weren't you? <laughs> last yeah. week we promised people that you'd research yeah. Sigmund Freud. Yeah, but I, I had a look, but, uh, I didn't find him that interesting, so... But that's not... But this is- this is what irrelevant. I mean, this is what we were talking about. You- you say you wish you could go back and learn stuff in school because you didn't. You want knowledge. You always say about you want to learn yeah, something Yeah, I want to learn something interesting every day. Yeah, but you've got that- <sighs> I gave him- I had a look at the website. It, it just Oh, kinda... oh, SigmundFroid.com. Yeah, he started that, I just didn't had he? a look. I just I did a search on, like, famous quotes from philosophers. Quotes. Brilliant. That'll get you everything you need, a quote. That's well, I, don't, a, I don't need to know his history. That sums just... up a man's life work, a quote. No, but that's what you remembered for, isn't it? Churchill will go on the beaches and all that. <laughs> uh, Sigmund didn't really have any- any sort of- Catchphrases is what yeah, you mean. Yeah, that's, yeah, things that you hear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sound bites. Yeah. He, he wasn't good with the press. <laughs> Brilliant. So you won't well, bother to learn about it. Well, you didn't even pick up a book. I wouldn't know where to start. Do you feel like you're thinking in your head? Sometimes, like then I was. But I don't know if I am because it's got a mind of its own, hasn't it? <laughs> I did look at some of the things that he'd said, and the one Do it now! Do it now! Right, what have you learned about Freud? Okay, here we go. This is Carl Educates Ricky and Steve, number one, Sigmund Freud. Carl, tell us what you learned about Sigmund Freud. Right. All I remember oh. was, like he said, a baby. You, know, you look at a little baby having some milk from its mum's breast, right? It looks well happy. Uh, it has enough. It's full up. Uh, it goes to sleep. It's got a smile on its face, right? He said, <laughs> "That's what happens when you're older as well." That's all I remember from all the things that he was saying on his thing. He just said it's weird how like it's, it's like. Absolute. Now, to be fair, Rick, that is obviously in translation. Yeah, I know. From the original, so I don't want you No, I'm not having a go at Freud. But, you know. I'm, I mean, Freud has been discredited on, on some issues and we've moved on with experimental psychology and-, and But, but and that's- that's the you. one that was interesting. I don't quite follow- so what do you take from that? Explain that to us in layman's terms. Um, I don't know, you- Well, that's pointless. Without application, knowledge is pointless. But it's not knowledge, is it? He's just saying drink milk all your life. It's good for you. Can't no, he's see not it. saying drink milk all your life. What <laughs> is this? Is, is this an advert he's doing he now? He also came up with go to work on an egg. Yeah. Oh Christ Almighty! But but like I said, I wasn't that impressed by uh, by his by his work. So unbelievable. Carl is allowed to vote. <laughs> I know, He's yeah. allowed to cast a vote That's in this true. country. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, no. I wish I hadn't. I've only done it once, and look what happened. I got called up for jury duty. <laughs> Not doing it again. People do what they do anyway. It's, I think they only let us vote, so they, so we feel like we're having a say in what's going on. But really, it just carries on, doesn't it? I haven't seen a big change. But that's exactly why you vote. No, the best thing you can do is look after yourself. Get on with it. Brilliant. Okay, well, I, I hope that's a quote. I hope someone out there who's, uh, you know, maybe making a, a dictionary of quotes or an encyclopedia and they, they've finished with Freud, they've done Freud, they've done Pavlov, he hit a dog on the head with a stick, next, Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington, what would- what do you say about the world? Just get on with it. Mm. Well, we're Brilliant. Not in, we're not in charge of it, is what I'm saying. That's nearly it? as good as let's go to the beach. <sighs> Winston spoke, Churchill. I spoke to my dad about it, and he, he called up saying, oh, I'm sick oh, of well, we're gonna about get some, some quality thinking here. <laughs> go on. <laughs> go on. No, he was saying, uh, about global warming and that. Yeah. He was saying he's sick of hearing about it. Right. Because at the end of the day, that's just the world in it. We're all getting old, and the world's getting old. That's- that's the end of it. Brilliant. What an, another amazing quote. Well, it is. What, what, what we're trying to do. 
this is what I'm saying about we don't like people to get old. We're always saying, oh, we can change that face, we can lift your chin up, we can put a wig on you. Why are you same... so annoyed about people wanting to live a little bit longer? Because enough's enough, is what I'm saying. The world, the world's the same. It's just getting old and, <sighs> you know, it used to have more green on it, but now it's gone a bit bald. So it hasn't got as much green, it's got more soil. Treat the world like a head. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing quote. Treat the That's world no, like you, a head. You've actually come up with one there. 